hello everyone and welcome once again god bless you all in jesus mighty name if this is your first time you're welcome this is chantal ikabe um this is a very powerful word that i want to release and i believe that it's going to help someone a whole lot by the help of the holy spirit i pray that god is going to give us the grace the understanding also that we need to receive this word and to walk in it the way that he wants us to walk in it in the name of jesus amen i'm making this prayer because this is a very very important word please take it very seriously so um welcome once again to every one of you and god bless you especially those that are new you're welcome god bless you now this word has been on my spirit and i know today or right now is the perfect time to release it many of us are having a lot going on and you have also powerful assignments um the call of god upon your life I'm going to use that as an example because that is something God laid on my spirit. You have the call of God upon your life and you are supposed to walk in that dimension. Walk in the ways that God has called you to walk in, the part and everything. But then you find yourself treading on a part and that part seems very lonely. It's like you are all by yourself. And some of us, we are on the lonely part not because we want to be there, but because we don't have someone to assist us to help us to share that that you know that that burden also some of us there's a burden in our heart a good one of course that people will have burdens to serve the lord a heavy burden just to pray worship fellowship uh, meditate on the word so that burden someone to share hallelujah someone to to share that that powerful desire that burden that god has placed on the inside of you you don't have that person in your life you don't have that person that you can you know call and be able to pray with you don't have that person you can fellowship with and you are doing the work of god you are doing it. You want to do it for those of us who haven't started. Now, this is for you. This is your word. And for others, you are actually going through a situation and you're trusting God to come out of it. You're in a warfare situation and you want to come out of that warfare. You've been praying on your own. You've been battling on your own. But things haven't changed yet. Things haven't changed yet. Hallelujah. For others, you're still preparing to start a project that God has laid on your heart to start. This is a word for you today. The Lord is saying, no matter how tempting it is, don't do it alone. God says, don't do it alone. You cannot do it alone. Number one, you need the help of the Holy Spirit. Don't do it alone. Don't go alone. Don't start alone. If you don't trust anyone around you enough to walk with, walk with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. That is why he's there with you. We have the Holy Spirit, but we don't get to walk with him most of the times. God has been reminding me of this. He said, many of us have received the Holy Spirit, but we walk alone. We walk like the Spirit is not living on the inside of us. So number one, walk with the Holy Spirit. Number two, if you can get help from a trusted person to help you with that burden, to help you with that warfare, to help you with that battle, get the help. Get the help. Get the person. Get someone. Get a prayer partner. Get a prayer partner. Hallelujah. Walk with someone. Two will always be better than one. One will chase a thousand. Two will chase ten thousand. That is really powerful. In the Bible, you see people walking together. You see people walking together in order to overcome a common enemy. Hallelujah. If God raised a king in the Bible, you see him also raising a priest. Or if a priest is in the Bible, the priest is there to give the king divine direction. There was Ruth and the mother-in-law as well, Naomi. There was Esther who walked with the uncle Mordecai. These people walked together. Joshua, Moses, hallelujah, Elijah and Elisha. God says, get someone. That you can trust to help you with it. When two pray, it's more powerful. 
when two break it's stronger a threefold cord cannot be easily broken threefold hallelujah cannot be easily broken the lord said the secret to that victory is walking with someone and walking in the strength of the holy ghost hallelujah don't trust on your strength and your ability god says do it with the holy spirit and i see you getting that victory in the name of jesus somebody as you take this and as you apply it i see you getting the victory that you've been asking god for for a very long time and lastly i'm going to say when you get someone to work with be consistent consistency is very powerful you can set a day of prayer make sure that you always show up at that particular hour to pray with that person is very very important and powerful so be consistent it's really gonna help work out things hallelujah thank you very much for listening i really appreciate you thank you god bless you if this was a blessing to you please go on and subscribe like the video and share as well thank you for doing that i hope to see you shortly by the special grace of god